When one, two, or even three UFOs appear in a sighting around the world, it is easy to speculate about its origin, and its interpretation that it is a secret modern technology is the closest explanation to those skeptics about the existence of UFOs. But when 10 unidentified flying objects appear in one formation near a nuclear reactor, it needs an explanation. A swarm of 10 UFOs surround a nuclear reactor in Japan 2015. Investigation and possible explanations. On July 29, 2015, a swarm of unidentified flying objects in the form of light balls or orbs appeared in the sky of Osaka, Japan, which was approaching one of the nuclear reactors. This aroused media attention in Japan and around the world. The unidentified flying objects that wrap around nuclear chimneys in Japan in a strange way as if they are doing some kind of monitoring or data collection. Some reports have suggested that the sighting of the Japanese UFO is very similar to the white light seen in June over Hyde Park in London, UK. However, UFOs sighting in London were so short that things vanished within seconds, making comparison difficult. On July 25, a swarm of UFOs appeared near Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It has led to further speculation that it could be a spacecraft visiting Earth. This sighting was filmed by Wisconsin police officer Gustavo Rojas. He stated that he was not alone when these unidentified flying objects appeared in the sky, but was accompanied by his partner, who also witnessed the mysterious formation of unidentified flying objects in the sky, which are constantly changing their formation in the sky, in a strange scene that does not resemble the normal air exercises of warplanes, but has its own way of maneuvering. The skeptics of the existence of unidentified flying objects had another opinion, as some of them said that it was just a hoax, while others believed that it was just Chinese lanterns. The captain of an elite US Army parachute team, the Golden Knights, later came forward to say he believed it was his squad that was behind the Milwaukee sighting, as they were performing a show during a German festival in the city. He said they jumped out together, in a single formation, before splitting up, leading to numerous fake UFO sightings that night. However, he could shed no light on the Osaka sighting, which so far, remains unsolved. In fact, this was not the first time that such unidentified flying objects were seen in the skies of Japan. About a month before these events, mysterious footage emerged from NASA's live broadcast showing three blurry objects leaving the Earth's atmosphere and flying into space. In 2009, four unidentified flying objects were filmed flying around a nuclear smokehouse in Japan as well. The mysterious flying objects surrounding the nuclear chimney were photographed from the air, most likely by a helicopter. The footage shows a pair of mysterious UFOs surrounding the nuclear chimney and then another pair of mysterious UFOs come. Before all four mysterious flying objects remain completely stay still in the sky in a strange sight. The four mysterious flying objects were earlier photographed flying over the trees before two of them went to the nuclear chimneys and the other two followed them. Over Fukushima, Japan March 26, 2011, 11 unidentified flying objects were photographed flying in the sky of Fukushima, which initially appeared as if they were flying in a straight line close to each other, before they diverged and hovered in changing formations in the sky at a low altitude from the surface of the Earth below cloud cover. In June 2020, television footage taken in the northeastern city of Sendai, showed a balloon-like object above across that, a fan appeared to be spinning around. It appeared near dawn and hung in the sky for hours, largely immobile, until it was obscured by clouds, officials with the Met Office in Sendai said. The appearance of a mysterious white object in the sky over northern Japan on Wednesday excited the social media, with speculation ranging from unidentified flying objects to North Korean allegations. The object looks like a large, uninhabited white balloon attached to crossed propellers, according to AFP News report. The UFO remained in the sky, largely motionless, for several hours before drifting over the Pacific Ocean. By the afternoon, it was the third most popular topic on Japanese Twitter, with theories including UFOs and North Korean balloons. Police could not be reached for comment and a government official in Sendai said investigations were still ongoing, 
with the object's size and origin, as well as its function, not determined. And you took no steps to get it back. However, there are also UFO skeptics. For them, events like watching a ball over northern Japan earlier in the summer, and Pentagon videos, are just unsolved mysteries. There are many Skywatch events across the country for people who believe Japan is a destination for intelligent life forms from outer space. Some say that Japan is one of the very few places in the world where four tectonic plates meet and there is a high level of volcanic activity, claiming that UFO activity is often found around volcanoes. It looks like a weather balloon, but the biggest surprise is that the Japan Meteorological Agency denied that it's theirs. It is not a bird. It's not a plane. It's not a foreigner. While a weather balloon seems like the obvious explanation, and is widely available for purchase, a spokesperson for the Japan Meteorological Agency's Sendai office told AFP that it's not balloon. At his daily press briefing later that day, Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yoshihide Suga denied any knowledge of the balloon's source, according to AFP. However, the origin of a strange, balloon-like UFO that appeared in the sky over Sendai, Japan, on June 17 around 7 am. Local time, remains a mystery. Possible explanations. It's just some kind of balloon. This was the most reasonable explanation for those skeptical about the existence of UFOs. Especially after the captain of the US Army's parachute team, the Golden Knights, later stated that he believed his band was behind the Milwaukee sighting, as they were performing during a German festival in the city. But he couldn't shed any light on the Osaka scene, which has yet to be resolved. The Japan Meteorological Agency had denied that it has such balloons. A spokesman for the Japan Meteorological Agency's Sendai Bureau told AFP, it is not a balloon. It may be some kind of Japanese technology that is used to sample and analyze smoke from nuclear reactors. And if this is the case, what will prompt the officials in Japan to conceal the truth of this? Where I think that it is not strange that a developed country such as Japan possesses technology and solutions to prevent any radioactive leakage from its nuclear reactors, and that it is something that does not need to be secret or requires a media blackout. Also, if it was a Japanese balloon of some kind and was used to analyze radiation in nuclear reactors, why would it have appeared in different parts of the world? And if so, do balloons have the ability to appear in a live broadcast from NASA as they leave the Earth atmosphere going into space? Japan is a destination for intelligent life forms from outer space. We have heard about this a lot, and it is a completely logical explanation. In the case of intelligent life outside the planet existence, they are supposed to be much more advanced than us. Therefore, it is logical that such unidentified flying objects appear in developed countries to monitor the progress of such countries, as many UFO researchers and possible intelligent life outside Earth have stated. Japan is one of the very few places in the world where four tectonic plates meet and there is a high level of volcanic activity, that UFOs activity is often found around volcanoes. In fact, this explanation is also logical, as we have seen many shots that show unidentified flying objects near volcanoes and the time of storms and tsunamis in different places around the world. It is also logical that such mysterious flying objects are observing the strange activities on the surface of the Earth. At his daily press conference later that day, Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yoshihide Suga denied any knowledge of the balloon's source, according to AFP.